Hello, this is Glass Garden Books. I'm coming to you today to let you know about one of my favorite books, The Silver Kiss by Nat Curtis Claus. It, I read it back when I was a teenager, so for a teen it was one of my favorite books. It is a vampire story, love story, and growing up and learning to lose people kind of story. On the back, you can see it says, Zoe is a wary when in the dead of night, the beautiful yet frightening Simon comes to her house. Simon seems to understand the pain of loneliness and death, Zoe's brooding thoughts of her dying mother. Simon is one of the undead, a vampire seeking revenge for the gruesome death of his mother 300 years before. Does Simon dare ask Zoe to help free him from this lifeless chase and this insufferable loneliness? Silver Kiss, to me, a book to read by Moonlight from Annette. I love that. I bet she wrote it on all of them. A book to read by Moonlight. She also had a pretty good saying for the blood and chocolate book. Out of those two, The Silver Kiss is my favorite. And it was printed, the older one I copy I have was October 92. Not even a first print then. It was like the third edition. But that's the first time I got it. But I did get the reading copy. This one. So then I could read it without messing up the one that was signed. Um, it's pretty much the same saying on the back. It is a good book. It has the feels. You know how BookTube wants to talk about the feels? It's got the feels. Her mother's dying of cancer. That's not going to change. Zoe and the vampire get together, help defeat an evil. And the outcome is not all roses and chocolate. So do be prepared for a bit of a sad ending. This is Glass Garden Books. I hope you enjoy this as much as I have. Thank you.